let's talk about the signs and symptoms of having abnormally high level of platelets. So it's important to note that many patients may be asymptomatic, meaning that they have no signs or symptoms. They may only see a high level of platelets on their blood work. And in other patients, they may have symptoms associated with the underlying condition like iron deficiency anemia. They may have issues with coilonychia or changes to their nails. If they have issues with CML, they may have itching or pruritus. So depending on the underlying condition that may be increasing their platelet count, they may have other signs and symptoms. And then some patients, if they have very high level of platelets, the platelets themselves may actually increase the risk of clotting. So because there's so many platelets around, they may actually lead to increased risk of clotting and other associated findings, which we're going to mention here in a moment. So this can lead us into what we call vasomotor symptoms. So this is where clots start to form in different areas of the body and lead to particular signs and symptoms. Some of these include headache, erythromyalgia. So erythromyalgia is where there is a reddening, burning, paining sensation in the extremities that can occur. We can see levido reticularis. So this is what levido reticularis looks like. It's this web-like pattern of blood vessels that we can see on the skin. We can also see something called acral dysesthesia, where this is an onset of a burning on the palms of the hands and other parts of the body as well. Itching can also occur after contact with water in patients who have high level of platelets. This is what we call aquagenic pruritus. So it's a severe, intense, and prickling-like itching sensation. And then some patients can also have altered mental status or confusion. There can be atypical chest pain. In some other cases, we may see increased bleeding. In some cases, this is going to be more of a rare finding. We may see epistaxis or a bloody nose, hematochesia or bleeding or blood found in the stool, and mucosal bleeding, so bleeding in the gums. These are often signs of low platelet count, but in some cases, if the platelets are so high, there may be clotting or platelet plug formation in places where it shouldn't, and then it's not causing platelet plug formation in places where it should. So this may lead to issues with bleeding.